Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going way better than fantastic. And your journey to self-betterment is going way better than fantastic as well. Today. I wanted to talk about something very very important. And that is the enabler and enabler of the narcissists of the world. Now why is this important? Because narcissists can operate on the world stage and can greatly impact millions of people's lives with what they enable other narcissists to do. And I say other narcissists. Because oftentimes. Enablers are narcissists themselves. Or at bare minimum wannabes. And the job of the enabler is for them to clear the path and allow the narcissist to conquer control and overtake your life all the while pretending they are there to help that they have no idea how bad things are and that they are your friend or they are your family and they have made a guarantee to assist and help you but when things get real tough the guarantee is broken as if they never made such a guarantee with you and narcissists do this very thing this very tactic no matter if they are the narcissist friend or relative of your narcissist parent or parents. Or if they are a narcissist friend of your boss at work. Or the person that you are married to or dating. Or. Or if it's something that is happening to millions and millions of people on a world stage. This is their job. You see. Narcissists don't just use and prey upon good-natured people. They look for less capable narcissists to corrupt and bring over to their side. And just like in our personal lives. Even the very narcissists on a world stage. We and others make excuses for this enabler. Such as. Surely they can't know how bad things really are. Surely they are trying their best to help us. When in reality. Nothing can be further from the truth. Here's the problem. And I and others keep on saying this important point. The average person looks at things through the lens of what they would do. Not through the lens of what an evil person would do. They truly can't understand how someone could be that evil. Oh. Come on. No one would do X, Y. And Z. There's no way. But we see in the news all of the time. Parent lets this person and that person go into their home and do unspeakable things to their family. And their way to try to get out of trouble is to attempt to play dumb. Well. If this lower level narcissist on a one on one level would do such evil. Why is it impossible for a narcissist? Or narcissists that are at a so called higher level of life to do the same. To fakely reassure people. Hey. I've got your back. I'm the one that will keep you safe. Then to step aside and let the more evil and more powerful narcissist in the back door to do unspeakable things to you and your family. All the while. The enabling narcissist plays dumb. And might even offer really really terrible solutions on how they can fix this problem. A problem they know full well they had a hand in creating on purpose. So what I say to you is. Keep your eyes open to the patterns not only in your personal life. But what you see play out in day to day living in society. Narcissists are narcissists are narcissists. You see. I believe there is a reason why narcissists are painted mainly in just one way. As the loud. Brash in your face overt narcissist. Because it allows these types of narcissists to take the rap for all or almost all narcissists. And this leaves room for the overt narcissists to do their dirt. And to keep on doing their dirt. Because little to no one will challenge them. Because just like us in our past relationships. They just can't put their finger on what is exactly wrong. And they are made to second guess what even happened. So much. 
they might even gaslight themselves into believing nothing happened at all. It's truly sad. And it keeps going and going and going. However, if we had a real understanding of what narcissism really is, and that it is multifaceted, and that there are many moving parts to this problem, especially when we are talking about societal narcissism, it would be a lot harder for such evil to be pulled off in society. Because it would be like the movie. They live. People would be able to see the narcissists for who and what they are. Scamming. Lying and evil individuals that do not have your best interests at heart. And that actually want to feed on your misery and pain. And they will keep on lying and lying and lying to you. Because it works. How do I know it works? My narcissist mother lied to me for years that she was trying to do this and that to better our lives. When in reality she had no intentions on bettering our lives. However. She was actively working hard to ruin us. You see. Just because someone says. Hey. I'm working hard for your benefit doesn't mean they really are. And sadly in the case with my mother. Time and time again. She would show with her actions that she was in no way on my side. But what did I do? I simply couldn't believe this was the case. Why? Because it was my mother. How could my own mother try to ruin her own son's life? How could this be even possible? And it would take years for me to truly understand what and who my mother was. And I only understood this fact after encountering other people like my mother in my life later on especially my ex Susie. This led me to research and research this problem. Much like some of you. And then I started to notice something. These same fake promises and enabling of bad behavior was being played out on a much bigger stage. Simply just opening up the back door and letting the even more powerful narcissist through to do whatever it is they want to you and those that you love. Why is this important? You see. If I knew what my mother was when I was younger, I would have gotten away from her a lot earlier. I likely wouldn't have gotten tangled up with the other narcissists in my life. And I could have made better life choices that could have led to better life results. Well, the same can be said for those subject to narcissism in society. There are a great many that are starting to realize. There are a great many people that promised many things. Many good things. And they for the most part turned out to be lies. Horrible ugly lies. And these lies have led to many many problems. Here's the thing. We as people can't take our eyes off of what is going on. There are many enablers that grease the wheel so to speak. Much like when you are buying a car. There is that person. That says the right things. And gets us to believe in the entire experience. Then when the time is right. They bring in the closer. To finalize the sale. Before we have a chance to think rationally and clearly. Slow things down people. Stop making choices because your neighbor made said choice. Make choices based on sound logic and discernment. Look at what is happening and what could happen worst case scenario by your choice. Because when we are talking about narcissism and narcissists. They usually do way worse than what you can ever expect or dream of. Well. That's all I have for now. Please let me know what you think. And leave your comments below. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.